हेलो बच्चों वेलकम बैक इन योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल लर्निंग साइंस विद सीके बच्चों एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड स्टडिंग फाइबर टू फैब्रिक्स एंड हियर वी हैव स्टडीड वेरियस थिंग्स अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल फाइबर्स दैट वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम एनिमल सोर्सेज ओके एंड वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द ओल एंड सिल्क ओके वी हैव स्टडीड दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल फाइबर्स एंड देयर प्रोसेसिंग Uh, that uh, how we are getting the wool how we are processing it to get the fiber to make fi fabrics okay same like that we have studied about the life history of uh, life cycle of uh, silk moth to get uh, knowledge about the uh, how silk is being produced in our country and how silk moth is uh, silk moth silk larva and it's a uh, very stages of life are responsible for this uh, special feature okay uh and uh, in this way we have completed the chapter and uh, also discussed the keywords in the last class okay in this class we will study about the we are going to solve the question and answer of this chapter okay so i am going to begin let's you all pay attention and get the all the information and knowledge and uh, to make your study easy okay so join with me for your studies online studies okay so here what are the questions exercise look under the exercise so first question is you must be familiar with the following nursery rhyme okay ba ba black sheep have you any wool yes you all have studied and uh, in your junior classes then uh, mary had a little lamb whose fleece are was white as a snow okay both these uh, uh, poem you have studied in your lower classes now you have to answer this following question so first question is which part of the black sheep have wool so just you tell that uh, as uh, which part of the black sheep okay have wool okay so um, what will be the answer let you any any guess tell me the answers if you know answer is the hairy skin okay the hairy skin of the black sheep have wool okay and next question is what is meant by the white fleece of the lamb okay what is the meaning of the white fleece of the lamb and white fleece of the lamb means the white colored hair of the lamb okay it is talking about the white colored hair okay Question number two. Question number two is the silk worm is a caterpillar, a larva. Choose the correct option. So, आपको बताना है कि silk worm क्या होता है? What is silk worm? So, silk worm क्या होता है? Is it caterpillar or is it larva? So, options you have. Option A. A. option b is b and option c is both a and b and option d is neither a or nor b so as you have studied that silk worm is what it is both caterpillar and larva both are the name of the same thing okay so answer will be c okay both a and b okay now come to the question number 3 question number 3 is which of the following does not yield wool aapko batana hai ki inme se kaun sa option hai jisse hum log ko wool ki prapti nahi hoti hai so options 1 you have yak option 2 camel option 3 goat option 4 woolly dog as we are getting wool from the yak also from the camel and also from the goat so answer will be woolly dog because woolly dog do not provide us wool question number 4 what is meant by the following terms rearing shearing and sericulture as three three things uh, are related with the animal husbandry okay so one by one i will discuss about the definition of the each one so rearing meaning is it means taking care of herds of animals which includes feeding grazing breeding etc for which purpose for economical purpose like meat milk flesh and some other purposes okay 
Next option is shearing. So shearing meaning is the removal of fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin from its body is called shearing. Okay. So once again I am repeating shearing is the removal of fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin from its body is called shearing. And third uh, the question is uh, third word is sericulture and sericulture is what sericulture means it is related with the uh, scientific rearing of silk worm to obtain silk okay so we have studied all the three definitions of these three words next question next question is Given below is a sequence of steps in the processing of wool, which are the missing steps. Add them. Okay, so you have to tell that uh, in this blank places what you have to fill. Okay, as you all know, it is about the uh, six steps of uh, what? Six steps of get processing of wool. So, what will be the answer? An answer will be. After sharing, the blank space will be filled by here scoring. Scoring, okay. Scoring is washing of the fleece. Then sorting came. After sorting, what will be there? Cleaning of birds. Okay. What will be cleaning of birds? Next will be dyeing. Coloring process is called dyeing. And last will be rolling of the yarn. Okay. So these are the steps that will be filled here and it is related with the production of um, what production of wool. Question number six. M make sketches of the two stages in the life history of the silk moth which are directly related to the production of silk. So uh, as we know that uh, almost uh, all stages are uh, response, uh, related to each other okay for the production of wool as uh, i'm going to show you how it is it is in the way that here you see if you talk directly the silk worm is the silk worm uh, that is silk larva is uh, the stage at which the, it starts eating so much leaves and at a time it stops eating and forms cocoon so larva and cocoon that is pupa stage are the directly related stages of the silk moth for the production of wool because uh, wool is produced uh, after the larva completes its feeding okay and forms a cocoon and inside cocoon pupa stage and further developing takes place and this is the cocoon which provides us wool. Okay, come to the next question. Out of the following, which are the two terms related to silk production? Sericulture, yes. Sericulture is what? Raying of the silk worms is called sericulture. Floriculture, floriculture is not related with the silk production because floriculture means scientific cultivation of flowers is called floriculture moriculture is related because moriculture is means cultivation of mulberry plants for the production of leaves that is being being feeded to the to whom that is being feeded to the uh, silk larva okay next is apiculture apiculture is what Apiculture means it is related with scientific method of rearing honeybee. Okay, scientific method of rearing honeybee is called apiculture. And last is silviculture. And silviculture means cultivation of tree is called silviculture. Okay, so once again I am repeating sericulture. Sericulture is rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. Moriculture is cultivation of mulberry plants for harvesting the leaves 
to be used for the silkworm floriculture is the scientific cultivation of flowers apiculture is cultivation of scientific method of rearing of honey bee is called apiculture and silviculture is cultivation of trees okay next question question is question number 8 match the words of column 1 with those given in column 2 and column 1 is what and column 2 is what column 1 is scoring scoring related with what scoring as you know it is the process of cleaning of sheared skin next is mulberry leaves mulberry leaves is used to as food of silk worm yak yak produces yak is a wool yielding animal and cocoon cocoon yields silk fiber okay so this is the steps okay this will be the answer of this question come to the next question number 9 given below is a crossword puzzle based on this lesson use hints to fill in the blank space with letters that complete the words and uh, here we have to downward you have to fill this d1 d2 and d3 and across the uh, line you will you have to fill a1 a2 and a3 so come to fill it so d1 is thorough washing thoro washing is that is 1d is what it is called scoring scoring or score so you we can, you can feel it as as c o u and r scoring next is to animal fiber and what is animal fiber for example silk silk is animal fiber so silk yani ki s i l k it is silk okay come to the 3d long thread like structure 3d long thread like structure it is what it is fiber is called long thread like structure f i b r and e so it will be fiber okay and come to the across the line one a is keeps warm one a one a is keeps warm where is one a here and it will be filled by what the word will be wool w o o l wool and a come to the 2a its leaves are eaten by silk worms what's leaves 2a it will be whose leaves is eaten by silk worms that is mulberry m u l b e r r y it will be the mulberry okay now anything left 3a 3a is hatches from eggs of moth hatches from eggs of moth is called 3a that is called cater pillar so c a t e r cater pillar p i l l a and r it will be the answer cater pillar once again repeating 1d is thoro washing that is scoring s c o u r score 
Next is 2D that is animal fiber and that is the example is silk S I L K silk. 3D is long thread like a structure and it will be fiber F I B R E fiber. 1A keeps worms. Which one keeps us warm? Wool. W O L wool. 2A its leaves are eaten by silk worm. Whose, its, sil, whose leaves are eaten by silk worm? Mulberry. M U L B E double R Y mulberry. And last 3A is hatches from egg of moth that is called caterpillar. Okay. So this will be the answer of this question now come for extended learning activities and projects i am going to help you in this section also so first question of paheli is paheli want to know the maximum length of continuous silk thread that can be obtained from a cocoon so what will be the maximum length of continuous silk thread that can be obtained and answer is what answer is that it is almost 900 meter okay so maximum length of continuous silk thread may be up to up to 900 meter or maybe little more also but on an average maximum length would be 900 meter now come to the question number two Bujo want to know why caterpillars need to shed their skin when they grow bigger but we humans do not. So Bujo is asking that uh, he want to know that uh, why uh, caterpillar need to shed their skin but we human cannot. And answer is that uh, caterpillar shed, shed their skin three to five times while they grow and this process is called molting okay a special feature is there in the insect category is molting it is the whenever they are growing they are shedding their skin okay because they have exoskeleton and their skin uh, never grows okay their skin never grows as a skin of human does okay as a uh, human ki jaise skin badhti hai waise jo hai Caterpillar or other insects ki skin nahi badhti hai, okay? So, while growing, they have to crawl out of their skin when their skin becomes too tight, okay? So, this is the reason that uh, whenever their uh, uh, skin, whenever they are growing, they have to crawl out of only uh, their skin, then only uh, they are able to grow. Shedding of only dead skin cell occur in human being. In our body, what happens? Shedding of dead skin is happening. Uh, and the next scientific feature is that insect have exoskeleton. In opposite to us, we have endoskeleton, but insects have exoskeleton. Their external body is hard in comparison to internal body. And whenever they are growing, they have to shed their skin, okay, because their skin never grows. So this is the answer that you should tell to the Bujo, that Bujo, uh, this is the answer for you. Next question, Bujo want to know why caterpillars should not be collected with bare hands. What is the, what will be the re, uh, answer? The answer will be that answer is that uh, what is the answer caterpillars should not be collected with bare hands because they are toxic their skin has toxins and may cause allergy okay whenever you touch with your hand it may cause allergy to you and uh, other reason is that collecting caterpillar may cause damage to them okay uh, as uh, we we are, uh, hand is hard and whenever we touch them it can damage to them because their body is very very soft okay and next reason is that they have a toxin in their skin and it may cause allergy to us okay now we have some other questions other questions are Pahali wanted to buy a silk frock and went to the market with her mother okay 
pehli uh, wants a silk frock and he went to market with her mother there they found that the artificial that is synthetic silk was much cheaper and wanted to know why do you know why yes we know uh, can you tell the answer answer is that artificial uh, we have first of all we are, have uh, two types of uh, fibers one is artificial and another is natural what happens that artificial fiber can be produced in a huge amount in the factory in no time no no maximum time okay where in very short time that can be produced in the factory but what happens with the natural fibers is that natural fiber production need a significant amount of time that's why the price of a natural fiber is higher in comparison to the artificial fiber okay and uh, this is the reason of uh, being the cheap price of artificial synthetic frog okay so you can tell to pahli that this is the reason pahli that artificial uh, fibers are uh, cheaper in comparison to synth uh, uh, natural fiber okay now question number 5 for you is that Question number five. Someone told Pahli that an animal called Vikanu, Vikuna also gives wool. Okay. Yes, there is an animal Vikuna which also gives wool. And can you tell her where this animal is found? Yes, we will tell them that where we will found that animal. And look for this in a dictionary or an encyclopedia okay no need to do that i am going to show you first of all the picture of this vikuna okay and the detail about him so here is the picture of vikuna you can see but you, you all uh, see it very closely this is the animal vikuna okay this is vikuna and uh, the uh, detail answer will be that what is the detail answer detail answer is that it is uh, camelid variety okay camel family it is from camel family that is called camelid that produces small amount of wool okay it also this animal also provides a small amount of wool and uh, these vicuna are seen in which uh, area in the south america okay in the continent of south america we can see this uh, animal and uh, vicuna are wild south american camelid and that are majorly found in the alpine area of andes okay and they give very little amount of wool but the quality of the wool is extremely extremely fine the wool can be show for every three years hence the wool is very very costly okay and this is all about the vicuna okay now come to the next question okay the other questions are about the just talk question 6 tells when handloom and textile exhibition are held certain stalls display real uh, moths real moth of various varieties of silk and their life history try and visit this stall with elders or teachers and see these moths and stages of their life history okay uh, you should visit some exhibition and handloom in your city in your area whenever there is favorable and good time okay after this uh, corona mahamari uh, lots of exhibitions are organized where you can see these uh, silk moth and their life cycle and the production of cocoon everything is being exhibited okay Question number seven. Look for eggs of any moth or butterfly in your garden or park or any other place full of plants. Okay, you can find normally it is uh, the normally wild silk moth uh, give the, their eggs hatch, lay their eggs in the leaves of the plants. They look like tiny specks. Okay, no, specks means dots. Okay, laid in a cluster on the leaves. Okay. Pull out the leaves containing eggs and place uh, what? Place them in a cardboard box. So what you have to do is that so first of all you collect the uh, eggs of uh, this uh, 
silk moth or a butterfly and uh, what you have to do just collect that eggs and keep them in a card box and provide some le fresh leaves of some plant or another okay plant of the same variety okay where the leaves uh, where you will found the eggs of the same plant now chop them and put them in the box what do what to the leaves okay you chop the leaves and put the leaves on the box now eggs will hatch into caterpillars which are uh, busy eating day and night okay whenever the um, caterpillar will be hatched they will be busy in eating day and night the leaves and leaves every day for them to feed upon okay after some time you may be able to collect the caterpillar okay you will find the caterpillar after some time but be careful do not touch it now observe the number of days taken to eggs to hatch okay normally the normal period of hatching eggs is 10 to 12 days okay next is next is number of days taken to reach the cocoon stage okay what is the number of days taken to reach the cocoon stage uh, average number of days to reach the cocoon stage is 7 to 8 days okay after hatching 7 to 8 days uh, larva reaches the cocoon stage okay question number 3 Question number three is the number of days to complete life cycle. Okay, so uh, in an average, the normal uh, days or to complete life cycle is almost of uh, uh, 30 days. Okay, it is almost 30 days. So this is all about the question answer of this chapter. Okay, uh, in this way, we have completed this chapter fiber to fabrics and uh, Becho, i uh, think that you all have uh, you all have enjoyed the study with me and uh, i request you to please uh, watch this video and the earlier two videos that complete this chapter fiber to fabrics okay so that uh, after if you watch three to five times these videos definitely you will have no other requirement to complete your studies and you will understand all the points very very easily because i have covered all the points very in an elaborate way okay about the sieve about the silk moth about the extra knowledge okay all the stages life history or related discovery okay and also i have mentioned the keywords and the um, summary of this chapter okay and finally i have also helped you to solve the exercise okay so in this way the chapter is now complete okay so bacho please pay attention and uh, if you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel and today i have completed the three chapters okay so if you are for coming for the first time in my this video so you go back you will find the in the description watch below in the description area about the links of other videos okay which are available in my channel okay and you can directly go to the playlist where the class 7 science is written where there all the videos are available all the nine videos are available there till now okay and uh, this will help you to complete your studies okay thank you much and if you are new please subscribe my channel to get updated updates every time uh, thank you once again bye bye